Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new around here, hi, I'm Mackenzie. I'm so excited for today's video because we are doing a little pre-trip haul for my Disneyland trip that's coming up in just a few weeks. Before we get into this video, I do want to say thank you guys so much if you reached out about my dad. If you didn't see on Instagram, my dad had to have unexpected brain surgery a couple weeks ago, but he is doing great. He's recovering so well and I know he's sitting at home watching this video right now, so shout out to you dad. But again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support and patience you've shown me when I was away just being with him and I'm just very happy that he's doing well and recovering great. So with that being said, we're gonna get into the pre-trip haul. I like to preface all of these haul videos by saying all of this stuff that I'm gonna show you guys, I didn't necessarily get for this specific trip to Disneyland that we're going on. A lot of this stuff is just accumulated from my last Disney trip, stuff that I needed to upgrade as far as like travel essentials. And there's some stuff I got too that I can wear outside of the parks, but I'm just making an outfit for Disney with it. So I'm showing you guys in this video because this is gonna be a little try-on video too of some of my potential Disneyland outfit so I think it's gonna be a really fun video I just like to kind of put that disclaimer in there because I never want anyone to feel like you have to buy a lot of things to go on a Disney trip because that's just not true at all that being said let's get into the video I'm so excited I miss filming videos so much for you guys I'm just so giddy so we're gonna start with the Disney stuff because that's the most fun and I think the first thing I'm gonna show you guys I am so excited about this it is this super cute Disneyland shirt it's like embroidered it's pink I don't know why but when I think Disneyland I think pink and I'm so excited it is from 100 acre threads i got it in a size extra large because i really wanted it to be oversized so i could sleep in it be really cozy throw it on with biker shorts if we're going to the park late at night and i'm just so happy i really wanted to get a disneyland shirt to commemorate this trip just in case i don't find anything at the parks because you know sometimes disney merch can be hit or miss so really excited about that the next disney specific item i got oh i've been eyeing these for a long time and i finally just decided to do it but it's this really cute pair of ears faux leather ears that everyone has been wearing these days I have been really eyeing them since they came out I just didn't know if they were a little too plain for me but then I saw the trend where everybody ties the ribbon around the ears right here to kind of match their outfit or just to make it a little more cutie girly and I love it and I will be doing it I'm so excited I don't own many pair of ears most of the pairs I have are very neutral like black and red because that's Disney neutral so I'm really excited to add another neutral pair to my collection but you can kind of dress them up with the ribbon so I think that's gonna be so fun and I'm getting more wear out of them for sure with that so very excited about these next is something kind of small but i've really been wanting one for the parks it's this cute mickey claw clip i love claw clips my hair i'm going through like a hair growth journey i have lots of little baby hairs right in here so i really can't pull my hair up in a ponytail without it looking like i'm flying away in the wind so i've been wearing my hair half up half down a lot so i'm really excited to have this in the park just a cute little claw clip to take the hair out of my face if i'm going on a ride or something like that so i love this i got this from an etsy shop i will link it down below and put it on the screen because i do not remember the name and it's really good quality i've used it a bunch just in normal life already <laughs> and the last disney thing that i am so excited about guys i oh i'm so excited about this purchase i got a new park bag so you guys know i've been using my lululemon fanny pack ever since they came out at the parks i love the size of them however since i vlog all these trips what was happening is i was holding my vlog camera the entire time in my hand because it wouldn't fit my fanny pack my fanny pack would fit my phone and my cards i would really keep it down to the bare necessities with that i just needed something bigger so when i'm getting on rides if i'm not vlogging the ride or if i just want to like walk around and not hold my camera in my hand i had a place to put it so i've upgraded to the bag of crescent bag it is so cute she just came in today i just opened her and i just am so excited about this i got the size medium i have been eyeing this for a while now i just didn't know if it would be too big so i reached out to a couple of my friends that have it and they were like yes do it get it and i'm convinced so i'm really excited about this what i really like about it is that you can wear it as a crossbody but it's not like against your neck because i feel like sometimes with the fanny packs they're a little too close to me and i feel like i'm kind of being suffocated by it so i like that i can wear it like kind of further down and i also found that i wear my fanny pack on my shoulder anyway like i don't even put it around my head so i think this will be perfect because i can do the shoulder length i am just so excited about this i cannot wait to bring it to the parks and review it for you guys but there is definitely like so much room in here to put my camera my phone just everything i'm not gonna have to be as selective with what i bring into the parks because i will have plenty of the room in this bag and i really like too it has two zipper pockets on the inside so I don't know it might be the perfect bag I haven't used it yet but I'm in love with it already and I love the material I'm just guys this is just so exciting for me you can tell I have a Disney trip coming up that I'm getting to use my new park bag okay so that's the Disney specific things I got there's one other thing 
thing that I'm waiting on to come in, but I didn't want to wait on it for the video. I just got a pack of reusable straws from Amazon. I love that Disney does the whole paper straw thing. I think it's way better than plastic. However, I hate those paper straws. I really wanted to just get my own that I can bring in and out of the park. Now that I have all the room in my new bag, I can definitely fit them in there. And I think I got like a four or five pack so I can share them with Madison when we go to Disneyland and I'm really excited about it. Okay, so the next category we're getting into are just clothing items. These aren't specifically Disney, but I am using these items to make Disney outfits from. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is this one piece set from Outdoor Voices. It is just so cute. I love a good athletic wear in the parks. I think it's so comfortable, it's so cozy. I love that it has a zipper. I love that it has built-in padding. I'm just really excited to wear this because like I said, the mornings I usually have like a nice athletic outfit and then at night when we change, I throw in like a big t-shirt and shorts. But in the mornings I like to have the athletic wear because that's when I'm getting things done. So that rope drop, this is what I'm gonna be wearing. Now for a little mini Abercrombie haul. I've been loving Abercrombie recently. I've really been prioritizing kind of getting all the clothes out of my closet that just are not great quality and that I've had for a while that are just kind of falling apart and upgrading them with really great pieces and I found that Abercrombie has great staples so I went in the store the other day and I got these denim shorts they are the dad shorts in high rise and I love them they are also the curve love version I just found that that style fits me better because it just does. So I have these. I'm really excited to style these. Disneyland is a little bit different than Disney World because the weather is a lot nicer and not as humid. So I feel like in the mornings I can get away with wearing some jean shorts if I'm feeling a little cutesy. But I'm really excited for the outfit I have planned for this. It's just these shorts, black shirt, some maybe the faux leather ears. I don't know. But I'm really excited about those because again, I'll get a lot of great use out of them. I'll wear them to Disney World at the end of the year if it's not too hot in December. So really excited about that. And the last Abercrombie item that I'm using for my Disney Land outfits is this really cute pink t-shirt. It's called the skimming tee if you're looking on Abercrombie. Again, I'll link everything down below. But again, when I think Disneyland, I think pink. So really excited to throw these on with a pair of like light wash shorts and my silver ears. I know it's going to be such a cute outfit and I, I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited for all the pink. I'm feeling so girly on this Disneyland trip for sure. Okay, so I think that's all the clothing and park items that I'm bringing to Disneyland. But now we're going to move on to some travel essentials that I needed to upgrade. Again, not specifically for this trip, but just because my suitcase and my backpack for all that was falling apart and you got I'll talk about it so the first thing I got is from Amazon it is this little three pack of clear organizers I really like that they're clear on the front and then you can't see through them on the back it's got a nice zipper they're a good size I really wanted these because I wanted something new for like my medications for some electronics just to kind of put it in here where I can see them so I'm hoping that this will be a way to organize things especially my medications I think I'm gonna use this smaller one for that my bag was just a little too small and I like being able to see into it and put it in my park bag that way if anyone needs anything I have it on deck so really excited about those probably one of the things I'm most excited about other than my park bag because you just saw me freak out about that is my new travel backpack I had this travel backpack from Amazon a while ago I used it for years and on one of my last Disney trips it ripped like it got caught on the airplane seat and to no fault of the backpack at all it was just time I've had it for a couple years and I just couldn't rely on it anymore to have stuff not fall out of it because of the whole so decided to upgrade my bag and I got this Lululemon backpack. It's the new crew backpack I love it. I had so many nurses that would use this backpack as their nurse bag and I just was like I want that I love it I got it on sale with my nurse discount But I really wanted a bag that would hold a lot But also could have this strap right here to hook on my suitcase I could wear it with like both straps I didn't want like a shoulder bag because I brought a shoulder bag to Cabo because my other backpack was bad and it was terrible So I was like I need a backpack. So I got this one. I love it. I think it's great. It's got so many pockets. It's got a laptop sleeve. And I've used this on so many trips going home to visit my family recently. And it holds like four days worth of clothes. My like toiletry bag. It holds my laptop, my charger. So I feel like this is definitely a really good size. It looks small, but it is mighty. It holds so much stuff. I'm so excited to take it on like a real trip. But the weekend trips, it's done great for. And I know it'll do great for just travel because I don't I don't like to put too much in my backpack just like my electronics my toiletries and that's pretty much it that's all the backpacks for so that is going to be a great addition to my travel lineup and last but certainly not least for my travel essentials i got this 
new Away suitcase. It's the bigger carry-on. Now, I want to talk about Away's customer service for a second. So I've had an Away suitcase for probably like six years, and it was a white, bigger carry-on. I loved it. I brought it everywhere. And when I was coming back from Cabo, I was zipping my suitcase shut, and the zipper just like pulled right off, like the inside zipper, not the outside. And I remembered hearing that Away had like a lifetime warranty on their bags. I wasn't really expecting them to replace the bag. I was just kind of seeing maybe if they could get me a new zipper that I could attach. I don't know. I loved my bag, but I reached out to them. I sent them some pictures and they were like, nope, you qualify for a complete new bag. We will let you pick from the colors. We'll send you that bag and you can just put the old bag in that container and send it back to us. So amazing customer service. When they said lifetime warranty, they were not kidding, but I love it. I got the black one because I had the white one and it got so dirty. I love the look of it, but I just like the black look. It's so sleek. It's like the upgraded model too. So I, I got an upgrade. I'll say that. But one of the things I did do is because I was worried about the black suitcase blending in with everyone else's. I got a little suitcase scarf. It's really a purse scarf on Etsy, but I will link it down below. I just think it'll help my suitcase kind of stand out when it's in the overhead bin or when I'm getting it out of the mirrors connect or whatever. I just think it'll be a great way to stand out, but I love my new suitcase. I love the Away brand and that customer service experience just really solidified that for me. So I think that is everything that I had to show you guys for this Disneyland free trip haul. I am so excited to go to Disneyland. We leave in just a couple weeks and my sister and I have been texting about it. We are just so giddy, so eager to get back to the happiest place on earth because we haven't been there in a long time and I think it's gonna be so fun, so exciting. We have so many fun things planned. I cannot wait for those vlogs because we are just hitting all the highlights. We're doing a little foodie tour. I cannot wait. I think the next video for you guys is gonna be all about my Disneyland trip plan. So I'm gonna break it down day by day, what we're doing, what we wanna do. I'm sharing my foodie bucket list with you guys too. So be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss that. All the messages and stuff you guys send me talking about how you're so excited for the vlogs just makes me so happy it makes me even more excited to film them for you guys so that being said thank you guys so much again for watching and i can't wait to see you real soon bye